Stephen? No, I think for the moment it's all interior. But I'm sure when um, Tony gets into his last lap and he comes off the bike, I'm sure she'll be... We'll see the emotion then, because I spoke to her before the start of the race, and she's very, very tight inside. So I'm sure it's all kind of building up inside her now that she knows Tony's going to make history once again. So, um, but then once again, anything can happen. The, 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 the line is crossed. After one hour, the race is never over. Still then, he's gaining one minute and 31 seconds up now, and he's raising himself. You can see it, can't you, Steve, at the moment? We were saying earlier on that his body isn't moving, it's only the legs. We can see now his legs are still moving as fast, but his body is starting to move a small bit as well. So the pain is just setting in now. He knows himself now that he's getting towards the end. Four and a half minutes, less than four and a half minutes now to the end of this penance, if you like to say, punishment. But um, he knows it's for a good cause. He, now and again you just see him going up, up on the banking a little bit it's getting harder and harder to keep the bike down he's getting tired of course but now at the last four minutes you see Ferrari here in the middle of a track here go 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 Tony still in excess of 55 kilometers per hour Tony Rominger, the 33-year-old rider from Switzerland, the number one in the world, the man who's won the Tour of Spain three years, 1992, 93 and 94. The man this year won the Pyrenees, the man who's won no less than 25 victories against the watch. Won this year the Eddie Merckx Grand Prix and the Grand Prix de Nation to set the scene on this record attempt. His family are here to see this 33-year-old Swiss rider demolish his own record and his little daughter here is already, I think, beginning to celebrate. And now we're coming up then with just some three minutes left. Only six laps to go to beat his own record. Everything after that is a bonus. So we can count the laps coming down here now. Six laps to go now to his own record. Still in excess of 55 kilometers per hour. He's never dropped below that. And less than three minutes remaining. He's now one minute 32 seconds ahead of his last time two weeks ago. Less than three minutes to go now. Four laps to go to Tony's old record. That's the 53 kilometer mark. He went through 53.832 was his previous record. That is well and truly in his sight now. And uh, there, little Rachel watching her dad going about the record. He's still in excess of 55 kilometers per hour. Rominger with less than three minutes to go, just two minutes left and he's already ahead of his record he's going to break his record no doubt about it now he's two laps to go now to beat his own record he's increased his speed now 55.258 he's going back to the speed he was doing after 25 kilometers so he's lifting the speed up now on his last lap after this lap now every lap is a bonus Showing no sign of the effort that he's had so far to go round this track in excess of 34 miles an hour. The crowd warming to this uh, rider from Switzerland. The Mappe classman, Romiger then, adding his name yet again to the record books and he's stamping his authority at 54 kilometers. He's gone through that magic barrier. He has, it's incredible. Everybody here is on their, on their feet here shouting at him. Well, when this is over and done with... They, this is almost his fastest lap. His fast laps earlier on were 55.26. Now he's doing 55, almost 0.27. So he's going faster now than he was earlier on. It's incredible. And inside the final minute, he looks like he might get inside 16 seconds for a lap. Now he's gone up to 55.272 kilometers per hour. This is an incredible performance here by Tony Rominger. He's going faster now than he was actually one hour ago. And everyone here, everyone from his team, the master, master manager, doctor, everybody on the side of the track encouraging him on.
inside the final half minutes. Everybody is on their feet watching this man go through. 20 seconds to go. 20 seconds. Point. There it is. 55 kilometers. He's done it and he's still got time in hand. He's broken the 55 kilometer mark and he's still going round lapping yet again. This is going to be at least one kilometer if not more than his previous ride. Down comes the count. Two seconds to go. One second to go. The hour is up. 55.289 kilometers in the hour. Absolutely brilliant ride. The crowd are standing up and applauding. Everybody in the audience here is up on their feet. My co-commentator, Stephen Rose, she's going to have to go and interview this man when he gets his breath back. But Stephen, your first reactions now, please. I tell you one thing. If I was still riding the bike today, I wouldn't tempt to going for an hour record. I think the bar now is too high. But at the same time, it's a fantastic experience. Like I said, a few years ago, everybody thought 50 was...